rooms that you've worked in, recording studios that um, that you thought, you know, like it really surprised you at how good they sounded? Like you walked into maybe someone's home <coughs> or somewhere locally. I can tell you that places I'm surprised how bad sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, let's just keep it on the I'll positive. Joke, <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any place that, you, that surprised you where you thought, wow, this is a tight little room? Um, no, I mean, I've been lucky to work in some amazing studios, and I wasn't really surprised, but I was like, blown like what away. what was amazing for you? Conway Studio C in LA, this is the mm. best sounding live room I've mm. ever heard, and it's just an amazing studio, amazing vibe, mm. has a huge window in the control room that looks out on like this cactus garden and i mean and glenwood place is amazing too um also in la right yeah i'll say it's salam remy's house and he just converted his big house in the middle of a kind of a standard neighborhood into a studio and all the stuff we did there and all the stuff he does he tracks drums in the foyer and you know each room has a studio in it and they're all interconnected in that house they get amazing sounds out of there like he did a lot of the uh Amy Winehouse stuff there. And Did he have to do a lot of retrofitting in the house to actually Yeah, make it so there's right mic there? panels in every room <coughs> that interconnect and they show up in the patch bays oh, nice. of every room. So, oh. you know, there's like a Rhodes and a B3 in one room. And so he can just run in there and, you know, they can patch it in and whatever mm -hmm. control room, because there's like three control rooms in the house mm -hmm. too. So there's a basement room and there's two upstairs. So it's a it's a cool setup.